Hi friends and subscribers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Rosal and this channel focuses on life on the ground in Jerusalem and Israel. Firstly, a big thanks to everyone who has been watching, liking and subscribing to these videos for helping me pass the 2500 subscriber mark. This channel still remains a minnow in the vast sea of YouTube, but it's still encouraging for me to know that people have been engaging with this content. I'm hoping that in the coming days and weeks I can begin presenting information about what the various political candidates in the coming local elections in Israel and Jerusalem are standing for. But equally I think it's important to stick with some of the more outrageous electoral messages as they become available. Otherwise I worry that they're going to pass into the online abyss or at least never get translated into English. As I mentioned in previous videos about the potential rise of extremist ideology in Jerusalem, Aryeh King is an associate of Itamar ben who is currently mounting a grassroots campaign to become the next mayor of Jerusalem. I recorded a video recently about how the deputy mayor circulated a campaign leaflet promising to mount an effort against the desecration of Shabbat in Jerusalem. Hilul Shabbat in Hebrew essentially means anybody who defies Orthodox Jewish interpretations of how the Shabbat should be observed, for instance by using electricity or patronizing a restaurant after sundown on Friday. So as I commented in that video, King has effectively raised the spectre of religious law becoming the governing law in Jerusalem, and in doing so he's got a lot of people very concerned. He's also openly campaigned in the past for a scheme to pay non-Jews to leave Israel, which attracted outrage. And today he released a new poster targeting another group of people he apparently isn't very fond of, which is the LGBT community. The danger in King's campaign lies, in my opinion, with how the messages are framed. Even in today's Israel, under the safe protection of the most far-right government in the country's history, it would be unacceptable and possibly also illegal to create a campaign poster saying, I hate Arabs, or the only type of Judaism I believe in is orthodoxy. So instead, King has used the enormous power of euphemism and couching messages between lines to make clear to his voters where his sympathies lie. Today's message of hostility towards the LGBT community is a prime example of that. This flyer was titled, We are uniting Jerusalem with Aryeh King for family reform. The first bullet point says that he's going to campaign against, quote, the force of exertion upon the Jerusalem municipality to hang the LGBT flag at the city's expense. This is a reference to the small but highly controversial gay pride parade in Jerusalem, which is often and disgustingly referred to by far-right politicians in Israel as the Parade of Beasts. The second one says that he's going to campaign against the forcing of the Jerusalem municipality to fund the Jerusalem Open House for Pride and Tolerance, which is an organization that aims to foster a safe space in an otherwise rather intolerant and conservative city for things like gay issues and tolerance. If anybody doubted that Aryeh King would be an enemy of the LGBT community if elected to higher office in Jerusalem, then his latest campaign leaflet has made where he stands on this issue abundantly clear. Have press release or statements about the municipal election campaign in Israel? There is an email address on the about page and I'd love to hear from you. Want to get more videos from me? Then please do consider liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel.